cranked the 5500 up. We're about to run into town up here into a good friend of mine's uh, machine shop. And uh, I had him build me some custom shells for two of the boxes on this truck. And we're gonna go get them and get them installed here and see how they look. So I'm picking up my shells now I gotta do do a uh, little bit of one there. I gotta finish real quick, get it done. And it'll be, uh, be ready for me to roll, we'll get to work. It's where I get most of my metal from, is right here. All right, so I just got back from uh, picking up the shells. I'll get them installed tonight. I got, uh, Friend of mine coming over and we're gonna work together on several things and, and get some things situated here. Uh, one thing that we're gonna work on, we'll get the shells in, but the other thing is this uh, giant Wilton vise right here. Uh, this thing is a uh, monster. And I've had it, I've had it for a while uh, now. And there's actually a uh, very cool story that goes along with this vise here. I'll give you some dimensions on it so you can see just how big this dude is. So from the, the end of it right there to the back, it's a little more than 23 inches that away. And then height wise, it's right at a foot tall. And of course the jaws are uh, six inches there. But we're gonna mount this vise uh tonight and we're not going to put it on the table we're actually going to put it it's going to be attached to the table but obviously if i put it on the table it's going to be too high and it's going to take up real estate on the table i don't want to do that but it's going to be mounted uh out here in in this area is where it's going to be mounted and it'll be tied to this plate and back to the beams on the bottom of the table uh, the tabletop is a inch and a half thick. It's a one inch plate on top of a half inch thick plate. It actually started as a half inch and then I went back later on and bought a one inch thick piece to sit on it and put it on there and got it, got it done. But uh, uh, yesterday uh, I ran the 400, uh, run it in a good bit, uh, put the 36 inch light bar on the 661. I got some stuff coming in for it today and so the uh, the 400 i'll talk i'll do a video just about it but uh um that's a that's a good saw uh i'll go ahead and say that right now so yeah let's talk about the fuel tank there's a lot of people uh wanted to know about the fuel tank the capacity on it so here's what we're gonna do i'm gonna give you the dimensions on it and then i'm gonna let people figure what they think it will it would hold and you gotta remember i got baffles in it now so and then let people guess and then in the, tomorrow's video which will be saturday i'll tell you what it what it actually hold and i'll tell you what i had it figured out so the overall dimensions on this tank right here is 48 inches wide and then it's 30 by 30. So 48, 30 by 30. Okay. So I had it figured at uh, 187 gallons. All right. It's what I had it figured out. But remember, we inset these sides right here a quarter of an inch on this side. And the other side is inset a quarter of an inch. So you lose a half an inch right there on that. And also you got the thickness of the metal. The thickness of the metal is 10 gauge is what it is. Uh, and the baffles inside of it are 10 gauge. So figure this then. All right, so you got the baffles in there. The baffles don't go all the way to the bottom. So the baffles are cut 28 inches. So they come all the way to the top, to the lid, and they go within two inches of the bottom down there. So that's where it gets kind of tricky to figure out the volume of the tank is when you add in the baffles in it 
in setting the sides it wouldn't is not that big a deal to figure out that part of it but figuring the baffles inside there is a little bit tricky so i had it i had it figured like i said at 187 and that's with a hollow tank with nothing inside of it all right and then i had figured it with the baffles in it what i thought it would uh what i thought it would do you know, with the baffles and i was within a gallon of what i figured it would be so uh comment down below and tell me what just just tell me what you think and uh and all that as far as uh the uh what you think it would it would hold and uh, like i said tomorrow's video saturday i'll disclose what the what the tank holds and and tell you what what it'll what it'll do there and so it's pretty it's uh it's pretty impressive and and all that but uh <laughs> so, good stuff man good stuff so i'm about to hook up to my gooseneck uh i got a getting a late start today because i like i said i had to go pick up those the shelving stuff for the for the boxes i'm putting one in this one and one in the long box and matter of fact there's the metal for the short one right there and then there's the metal for the uh for the long one and then it's going to be supported uh by this and in the back of the box that uh piece of tubing right there i got them bent well they've got a l on the front that runs all the way down and that piece of tubing will fit right under here and it'll tack to it and this, this is going to overlap in the there's a shelf in the box in there and it's gonna it'll overlap on that this is eighth inch stuff is what this is right there and so uh that'll that'll work that'll work pretty good but uh so hope y'all have a good day i've got a pond that i'm fixing to go uh set up camp on for a few hours i'm gonna be taking a jawbone bucket with me uh, it's a pond that the previous landowner just let it go and they let it the sides of it grow up in saplings It's it's in saplings about that big up to about that big all the way around it And i'm gonna clear about half of it on both sides for the current property owner And fix it up for them and get all of them things ripped up where they can actually see the pond It's a it's a very nice pond. You'll see it I'm gonna do a lot of filming while I'm over there with the gopros and stuff like that and and I'm just gonna uh, work on that today. I've got a uh, driveway job that I need to work on. And I may possibly go do a uh, tree job tomorrow. I'm not sure. We'll have to see what the, what the, how dry it's, it's dried up. Cause it's still very wet here right now. So uh, anyhow, if you need any tree work done or, uh, you know, excavator work or anything like that, my email is right down below, shoot me an email and uh and i'll get with you and and uh see what we can get together on and and get fixed up so uh appreciate y'all watching y'all have a wonderful weekend this weekend and uh we'll catch y'all later later taters <laughs>